Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Up early, got to do some damn cardio. I hate cardio, but uh, everything has a price. I start getting all my late books out, and then I start putting on weight. <laughs> because there's a lot of like micro tasks when you're getting books out. So I'm always like, oh, I just packed up a hundred of the uh, perk packages. I deserve a whatever treat. And then you do a couple thousand, and you're like, oh shit. So, uh, you know, at first you can kind of blame it on, oh, I just ate. But then when you wake up and you're like, oh, yeah, I, I haven't eaten for 12 hours and I look like this. So, yeah, it's definitely a time. Oh, God, I hate cardio so much. Um, some channels I've followed for years, uh, they kind of seem, you know, dejected because, you know, the other side is, is, is winning. But are they? There seems to be, since there is so much, like, lore in comics drama, that people are combining like multiple people into the same person to like save uh, storage space in their brain. Like all of a sudden out of nowhere, everyone and their mama has, you know, combined uh, Heather Antos and Zoe Quinn into the same person. Like they always talk about these two different people, like as if like their lives have converged. <laughs> Every time that Sam Maggs has ever written anything, everyone's like, you're clearly talking about Mags Visaggio. <laughs> but people have, like, merged uh, these two people together. So Sam Mags has become the writer for uh, Knights of the Old Republic. There's a lot of despair because they're like, it keeps happening, and it feels like the more we complain about it, the more it happens. And that is SJW is getting hired for sometimes, I was going to say prominent, I should say seemingly prominent uh, positions uh, because when Dan Slott gets hired for a very similar position video game people barely like notice it a writer is not you know the designer of a video game it's you're kind of collecting together all the disparate you know scenes and and uh, concepts and then you give like a through line to it but it's not quite as major as it sounds uh, in the video game industry but um so there's a lot of despair uh, so people are like, oh, look at this SJW. I mean, this is a woman who I believe she, she was kind of got famous for saying she was sexually assaulted in a video game because of the, you know, the practice of teabagging, uh, which was popular like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago in video games. Did they really, I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge gamer. Did they uh, eliminate that option? <laughs> Like, there's no squatting anymore uh, in video games. Um, but they're, they're getting very despairing because they're like, oh, look, at, she's a super SJW, and look at all the stuff she said. And it's like, um, this is the part of the life cycle in a franchise where this happens. It's inevitable. In 40 years, people like Sam Maggs and Danny Lohr and Vida Ayala are all going to be demanding a place at the table on the Cyber Frog animated series. Once all of the work has been done, then this is going to happen. <laughs> You're 40 plus years into a franchise. This is when the people who have no ideas at all besides something something patriarchy and let's put a black lesbian with the side of their head shaved into this video game. And those aren't ideas. Uh, that's basically, that's, that's pre-written out on the form, uh, you know. This is the part of the life cycle. So you might be very despairing. You say, well, what ha this, why does it, this always happen? Eventually, these, these no talents move in and they use politics and identity to force their ways into, again, seemingly prominent positions. I saw uh, uh, Danny Lohr. <laughs> Funny thing is, like sometimes, like you go to do a video, and then these people literally tweet a hundred times a day, and it's like I don't remember what day it is, and I'm not going to manually scroll through 300 tweets over the last three days. But she said, um, you know, uh, <clears throat> she said something about when you hear about uh, black women uh, complaining about emotional labor, uh, it's not whining. They really do expect us to do more. Well, to be very frank, Vita and Danny, especially. You have literally sold your blackness to a corporation in order to unlock the right to share crop their billion dollar properties for $75 a page. You have no one to blame uh, but yourselves. Corporations really like this um, uh, woke hiring. Uh, they don't do it at the beginning. 
They don't do it to create franchises. It's something you do 30, 40, 80 years later when you've got enough previously printed material, you know, to adapt into movies and video games and cartoons for another 100 years. Um, and so you just need a caretaker. You just need essentially a security card. And it makes it so much more advantageous for you publicity wise to be able to say, look at this healthy at every size black lesbian we've hired to share crop our billion dollar properties for $75 a page. Um, if you feel exhausted is because they absolutely are giving you more work than ever before. By the way, one of the unfortunate things uh, is that when trends like this arise, when people are, are literally selling their, their skin color and their sexuality to corporations in order to get work, there can be people who are vaguely similar who get you know caught up uh, in, the, uh, in the mix. And uh, a lot of people have told me like, hey, you're being unfair about Stephanie Phillips. Yes, she is gay. Yes, the side of her head is shaved, but she seems to be a solid talent. To which I will say, it is possible she's been swept up unfairly. I will also say that as someone with talent, it's a very moderate level of talent. So the massive amount of work she's getting does seem to be indicative of the current trend of find a lesbian, give them so much work at a really low page rate. Just remember that truly talented people can go create new things. You know, they can keep demanding a seat at the table and then we can just build new tables. Did George Lucas just have one franchise? No, he had several. He had, you know, Indiana Jones, he had Star Wars. Um, and, and then uh, supposedly way back in the day, uh, Indiana Jones was uh, started because Spielberg and, and uh, uh, George Lucas wanted to work on James Bond. Um, most creative people uh, are uh, able to create multiple uh, successful things. So you're basically being sentenced, sentenced to being creative for the rest of your days. It's like, um, and absolutely, <laughs> it is so hilarious to think, you know, that the, these, uh, the SJWs of, uh, 2061 are going to be demanding a seat at the table, you know, uh, writing the, uh, cyber frog, uh, video game. The bad news is yes, absolutely. Everything you love, once it's gone for a couple decades, it just needs essentially a security guard, you know, to keep the lights on. Absolutely, uh, you know, uh, hateful SJWs will be hired for chump change uh, to do that. Um, but the good news is you don't have to stick around. You can endlessly uh, create new things and you can endlessly find newly created things uh, that mean just as much to you. The sad truth is that everything decays. <laughs> Freaking everything decays. You might like the pyramids, but go find a painting of what the pyramids originally looked like. Ancient Egyptians would be like, they'd be like crying. It's like people go, you, you realize this is not our best work. Like, this is not what we meant it to look like. You weren't supposed to see the individual stones. Like, those were covered up, and it was beautiful. Um, uh, but eventually, everything is going to decay. When you say, I need a seat in the table because of skin color, sexuality, they're like, go hire that person for $60 a page. And then let's bump them up to $75 a page. Uh, and uh, because you, you, don't have any, you don't have anything to negotiate. When you have an amazing idea, you can negotiate. When George Lucas does American Graffiti, and then he wants to negotiate for Star Wars and you know his part of Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, he gets to demand a lot because people get to say, "Oh, look at this original talent." When you got your job on, you know, pointing at your forearm and saying, "See this color? That's the color I am. Hire me." Yeah, there's about a billion other people with that skin color. So you can't negotiate for shit. And it's even, you know, uh, insiders have said, like, these people have tried to negotiate, you know, one, two years in after getting massive amounts of work. And they're like, well, you should pay me more. It's like, no, 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 no. You, you, you don't have anything to offer. You can just leave and we'll find someone else with your skin color and sexuality because that's, that's what you've sold to us and other people are willing uh, to sell that. So if you get despairing about your favorite franchise getting taken over by SJWs, uh, I got no good news for you in that regard. It will endlessly happen. Once the creativity has leveled off for about a decade or two, that's when it's security guard time. So people don't pay security guards a lot of money. There are almost an endless amount of 
uh, franchises new and old. I suggest Modesty Blaze, the novels, not the uh, comic strips. Uh, that's a fantastic franchise. And that kept me busy for a good five to ten years with it being my favorite uh, franchise based off of like, I don't know, eight to ten novels. It wasn't a lot, but I just reread them forever. So yes, all your favorite franchises are going to age and uh, they're going to have uh, security guards just watching over them. And yes, those security guards absolutely hate you and they have a hundred tweets proving it. It's just something you need to just need to realize and move on. If you're a creator, you just create new things. Um, and if you're a fan, there are new franchises being created constantly. Um, and if you demand a seat at the table, we can just make new tables. <laughs> it's really time when people are getting uh, jobs based on, I demand a seat at the table because there haven't been enough trans racial lesbian Eskimos in wheelchairs writing I don't know, Incredible Hulk. That's that's really kind of uh, when they get hired based on that. It's it's a sign that nobody believes there's anything new or exciting to be done with this property. But there's new and exciting properties being created all the time. So uh, okay, I got to get back to my hated cardio. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, Rock and Roll Ninja, Knife and Blind Spot. Links are in the des the description. I'm getting ready to launch a new. Uh, Indiegogo soon. I think it me, might be uh, of uh, kind of like an inventory sale like I did before except for it'll be me. Uh, it'll be me fulfilling it so uh, we're not gonna have the problems we had last time. There's a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, Capture or Kill just went from a backup story to its own book just because of what a good job Kelsey did on the cover and uh, I got to get back to this cardio. Thanks for watching. Bye.